Good morning speed painters, this is the mini painting noob. Today I'm going to be playing around with speed paint colors and trying to make a pastel color green. Yesterday I was painting this pig from the Grim Forest and managed to make a really nice yellow pastel color and this sort of, uh, I don't know what color that is, lilac purple, nice really light shades. Um, using speed paint. Um, I have got another pig that I need to paint um, and her skirt is uh, shades of green. Um, now speed paint don't release paints in that color and so today we'll be painting her with some greens and we'll be making up those colors. If you like this content, please uh, subscribe and hit that like button. Alright, so today let's have a look at what colors we are going to be playing with. We have in the speed paint range camo cloak, orc skin, and absolution green. Now looking at the caps, the lightest color is Camo Cloak, so we're going to play with that because uh, we're trying to make a light green color. And what I'm going to do is slide it over to my palette. And I'm just going to put a drop of Camo Cloak in an area where I've got a bit of room to play with. I'm going to grab some uh, white from Vallejo, this is just standard acrylic paint, and put a drop of that in there, and then a couple of drops of speed paint medium. So can we thin this down and just make it a nice bead painty consistency after adding that white uh, acrylic. Then I'm going to get a brush that is just a cheap El Cheapo brush um, that I can just use for mixing and mix this up really well. I have not pre-tested this so I've got no idea what color this is going to come out like. Um, but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. This is pretty good. Um, really light, really light green. Um, it's been nice if this is the first try. All right, let's have a look at what that looks like on the tissue. So I test uh, colors. You can see here. Yesterday I was testing all sorts of colors on this tissue. And here, go back and forth. That isn't bad, actually. For a good guess. Not bad at all. Alright, so, let's get to painting. Clean this brush. I'm not going to use this one for painting. This is just purely a mixing brush. Reposition the camera. Sorry, guys. Again, I um, film in sort of a live stream kind of a setting. Um, not a lot of pre and post editing goes on here. I um, will just film, and if you want to see what the results are, you can skip to the end. Uh, and again, I'd really appreciate your subscription. Um, I do have some exciting stuff coming up. You'll see in the background, we've got some Fallout minis. Uh, what you haven't seen yet, we've got some Clank Legacy minis. So there's some really good stuff coming up on this channel very soon. So hit that uh, subscribe button, smash that like button, and you will see this content uh, in your feed. All right. All right, quick drink. All right. So to this pig, she is the straw gatherer's pig, and the 
upper part of her skirt and small stripe is green so that looks like let's get positioned here we're looking at this area here this might be a little bit too light but let's slap it on and see what it looks like If you like the end result, let me know in the comments section. Um, if you've got any feedback for me on painting tips and tricks, products that you use, do you guys mix your own paint colors? Um, have you used this sort of technique before? This is a very light green. It's quite um, transparent as well still, even though it's got that white pigment in it. What I'll probably do for the darker stripes is just add some uh, more green to this existing paint. I don't like wasting paint, so um, I like to sort of reuse it if I can. So I like to have several models on the go. Um, and, you know, if, if I've got leftover paint, I have a look around and see is there a model that needs that colour? And I'll, uh, you know, make some adjustments to that figure as well. Just doing this lower stripe here, not being particularly tidy. Maybe that will come in when we do the darker stripe to be a lot more tidy. So I just want a quick paint job here today. So, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that very well in the camera, but that is a very light pastel green. Um, I do need to repaint uh, her shirt. Um, it's looking very yellow and it's supposed to be white. Um, so I will be doing that at some point as well. Um, I was waiting for the delivery of the holy white from speed paint which is not white at all it is gray so I'll need to figure out uh, what to do I'll just probably be painting the Vallejo white straight over her top so just some of this again brighten that top back up um, it got fairly yellow because I'd made some uh, over painting you can see with the orange in it so um, I need to fix all of those mistakes all right now quick drink Uh, morning coffee time over here in New Zealand. Alright, let's, let's shift this camera back over to the palette and we've got our green here. We want to make it a little bit darker and I like experimentation so let's stick the smallest drop of Absolution Green um, I haven't shaken this one, so excuse me while I do that. These paints come preloaded with a couple of mixing balls. Um, I've added a couple of extra ones to the um, to the white um, to try and help mix that one a bit better it does get very heavily pigmented in the bottom 
after a while. Um, so you can add more. More is always better. Let's find a little mixing brush. There we go. And let's see, how dark did I make this? That's still looking pretty light. I think we'll need to add some more. So I'm wanting the contrast to be uh, quite intense here, but still a pastel kind of a colour. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. I think it's probably half a drop more. Um, as you can see, uh, you know, when it went on the model before, it sort of lightens up again. Speed paint has a tendency to do that, so you, um, you know, you paint your figure, you, you think it's the colour, it you know, might end up a little bit lighter, I think. I just spat out an air bubble there instead of paint. It got any darker. Just clean this brush off a bit. It is a mixing brush, but I don't want it to get totally destroyed. And I do want that just a wee bit darker. This is live mixing on camera. I haven't done this before. Don't know what's going to happen, but you can kind of guess. You know what I mean? With colours. Um, okay. That is darker. Alright. Let's have a look now on the paper towel. And we're looking at this one now. Comparing that to the card, I mean, we could definitely go darker still. I think we will do that. Um, but Absolution Green might not be what we want to add. I want to do a interesting experiment here um, and pop in some Cloudburst Blue. Um, I just have a feeling that this will bump up that darkness just a wee bit better. Of course, it might change the colour entirely and render it useless, but. good all right I think that did what I wanted so sort of changed the shade just a wee bit um, we could definitely go darker still but at this point I'm filming this and don't want you guys to be too bored let's just wash off this brush and then I'll get to painting All right, so let's reposition this guy. So get my number, what do we gonna want? I'm gonna go for a triple zero for this fine line here. Let's just prep that brush. A bit of water on it, wipe it off. Yeah, I've got my magnifier, so I'm going to try and be as clean as I possibly can here uh, with these lines. So this is where I take extra time and speed paint becomes not so fast. Um, 
Sorry, let's try and get this in frame for you. All right, so speed paint is fast, I guess, if you're wanting to paint a mini one color and have it automatically shaded. Um, but it's not going to be any quicker if you're doing these kind of detail um, elements. Because being tidy takes time. I'm trying not to uh, go over the lines here. This is recessed. Um, because if you had the right color speed paint, you could paint the entire skirt one color and the speed paint would just go into the recess and do what speed paint is supposed to do but we don't have that color and there's no way that i'm aware of that we can make pastel colored speed paints without using some form of acrylic um, like the Vallejo white um, to sort of do that brightening aspect that, that uh, when we're taking the paints down quite a few shades so uh, the medium isn't going to do that and the holy white for certain isn't going to do that but it's easy to get my thumb in there and sort of wipe it off and clean this brush off a bit these um, little brushes they get dried up and clogged pretty quickly I'm just using a red sable um, triple O red sable um, interesting brushes I did have to cut off a I don't think they called it a guide here I'm not sure I was on a Facebook group the other day and asked about it. Um, these sable brushes have this long hair that is kind of curly um, at the... it's longer than all the others and it gets paint on it but it goes in areas that you're not painting it just sort of goes off and has a mind of its own um, and so for this brush I cut it off um, so I don't think this brush is quite as pointy as it once was um, but I now no longer have this guide here going and doing weird things Right, just about done with this stripe. Nice. Okay. So now we just have the lower stripe to do. Um, so it's got a little recess in the bottom of the skirt here as well. I'm just going to do that bottom one also. I guess a disadvantage of doing what I did with the color mixing is if I found a problem with that green, I can't, yeah, you know, with the light green, I can't now just go and fix it. Um, I've got to go and make a batch of paint again. Um, and I may not quite get that same colour. This will be a case of painting over the whole mini um, again to fix up any issues. But uh, that's a risk I'm willing to take at this point. So 
just want to get these minis out the door um, and onto the table. That didn't make sense, did it? We're playing board games outside. Out the door. Alright, um, cube gone. This is the portion I think most content creators cut um, and you don't get to see it. And I thought for my channel actually this is the bit that I'm missing in other content. Um, you might disagree and just think and I just want to see the description, you know, hear the description of what the guy wants to do and then see the end result. Um, what I want to show is the process. Um, so here's a new painter. Um, if you're new, then you can watch a video like this and see, uh, you know, actually see the process that's going on, not just hear about it. Um, something that isn't talked about um, is, you know, brush strokes. How do you actually hold a brush? How do you use a brush? It's all stuff that you don't really see in any of these videos when you're learning how to paint. Actually, I don't even know how to hold my brush. What am I doing? Um, well, I might not talk about it, because I don't know, it sort of seems to be a natural thing that just occurred. Um, but you can kind of see, because I'm leaving this unedited full length. Um, I was just playing a little bit of extra green, just I'm wanting that contrast, so uh, if it's looking a little bit too transparent, I'm sticking an extra layer there. I know you're supposed to wait a little bit between coats, but there's always that temptation to just go in and continue applying paint. Um, anyway, that was pretty cool, I think. That turned out just as I had hoped. Um, if we look at her card again, we've got some greens with speed paint. Can you make pastel colours with speed paint? Yes you can. And as always, it's okay to be a noob. Like and subscribe guys. Thank you very much.